Hey everybody, it's Brad. And I'm Krista. With the Big Family Homestead. And today, I've got to tell you the truth. I love this soup. The soup is very, very yummy and very, very easy. Mama's making broccoli cheese soup. Yes. And um, you guys, a lot of you have been asking for more Thrive Life ingredients in mm -hmm. some of these cooking videos that we do. And so today we've got some more Thrive Life ingredients. We're not not all of them. We're just adding in. Right. We. This is a great way to start um, substituting some of your uh, store bought ingredients for the Thrive ingredients. And this is a this is a great way to incorporate it and to show you how we incorporate it into a lot of meals. Yeah. And and keep in mind that if you don't have a certain ingredient in Thrive, it's really okay. Right. You just substitute what you have one to one. Right. There's no difference in terms of um, uh, a, a measurement change. Right. Um, we are using four cups of broccoli. You can also uh, use the four uh, crowns, you know, those small crowns. It's about the same amount. Well, uh, the, the ingredient list is in the beginning of the video, as you guys just saw, but it's also in the video description mm -hmm. if you want to just cut, copy, and paste it. Yep. Do you want to read it to him, Mama? I because, sure can. Because um, the graphic is not on here. It is not, <laughs> it's on, not there. on here. That is fine. I can read that to you. Um, we are going to use uh, one whole onion, but I'm going to use the Thrive chopped onions, which I'm going to use about a cup of these the chopped equivalent. onions. Yeah. So it's about the yeah. same. Um, one stick of butter, a third cup of flour, six cups of our yummy fresh milk. Um, Again, you can use four of those crowns of broccoli and you just cut the florets off, but I'm going to use four um, cups of the Thrive broccoli. It's so good. So for delicious. It's so, it's so easy. It is really easy. You just scoop and dump and scoop and dump. Exactly. I don't have to rehydrate anything. Um, I'm going to use four cups of cheddar cheese, um, a pinch of nut nutmeg, salt and pepper, and then if it's too thick, like Brad likes a thinner soup. I like a thicker soup, so I compromise. And if it's too thick, and every time, every time I make it, it's always slightly different. But I'll add a little chicken broth at the end if it's too thick. Do we have it out? I have the Thrive chicken broth out. Okay, okay, so. yeah, because she likes hers like mortar, like you know, not like mortar. Cement. No, I don't. I just I not like a lot of stuff in my soup. Yeah. I don't like a lot of broth. I love broth, but I like a lot of stuff in my what's, soup. What's your favorite soup out there? You guys yeah. in YouTube land, what's your favorite soup? I like lots of different soups. I yeah. Mean, this is in the top five. Yes. Yeah. Top five. The other one, what did you make? Oh, you just made the loaded baked potato. Loaded that baked was potato. excellent. I like all kinds of, like Italian wedding soup. Oh, yeah. That's great, but we actually have not made a good Italian wedding soup. No, we haven't have gotten not the tried that yet. secret to it no. yet. Um, I like the I like beef stew. Of course, that's more of a stew, not a soup. I like beef stew. Like again, I like again. I like a lot of stuff in my soup. There's so many um, good soups. Chicken dumpling. Oh, that's that's probably our go-to favorite. That's probably that's our top. comfort food here. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. comfort food oh, here. Oh yeah, yeah. So okay, well, how are you gonna start, Mama? Okay, well, I'm gonna start by rehydrating our onions, and that's gonna be a super quick thing to do. Um, sometimes if you're just making a soup and you just want to throw them in there, you don't have to rehydrate them at all. Um, but I'm going to saute them in butter. Oh, I don't oh. want the oxygen. Absorber. Yeah, it just occurred to me. There might be people watching that don't know what the heck we're talking about. Oh, yeah. Thrive Life Foods are freeze-dried foods. We are actually mm -hmm. consultants for the company. Right. And um, you, you get them in these cans or smaller mm -hmm. cans. And they're great because if you ha have them unopened, they'll, they'll be fresh. Uh, for 25 years. Exactly. And uh, so it's great to just be able to go scoop a thing and, and dump it. That way there's no waste. Right. You know, you don't have like a half a thing of mushrooms or something and you find it as an oh. ex a science experiment in your refrigerator a month Th later. That's the worst too. And I'm the only one in our house that pretty much is, I'm, I'm the only one that likes mushrooms. Brad will tolerate them. Um, but I'm not going to buy a big package of mushrooms for just me. So just when pizza. I want some for pizza. my pizza, mm -hmm. or if I want to make an egg, cheese, onion, mushroom, sausage burrito, I can just take the mushrooms out of the can, rehydrate them, and go as I please. Well, I'm going to go to that camera, but don't make sure, because that's on, baby. That's on. I know, it's, it's hot. hot. I know. So they can see the close if you want to go and show what right. you're doing. Well, I'm going to do I the know, onions first. Hold it up. Oh, I see what you're the oh, There we go. Ice. We got this. This is my first rodeo here. Um, okay, so I have our dried onions 
Um, as you can see, they're really, really chopped finely. So I'm gonna take just a bit of water and I'm just gonna pour that on there. And I don't need a lot. Tressa is asking, do they still make the tomato powder? Yes. Yes, and that is one of our favorite things. Right, it is now only in pantry cans though. The smaller ones. Right. Yeah. Which I think is a good, it's, I think that's a good deal because if you have a smaller family, um, then you won't, um, sorry, I'm, not, I'm getting out of the shot. <laughs> there you go. Um, then you were not gonna, you're not gonna use a lot, but yeah. here, these are pretty Wait, much rehydrated. I moved to the wide camera, yeah. here's the close camera. These are pretty much rehydrated. There's a tidbit of water in there. I'm gonna pour that back in this glass here. Okay. Because I don't want too much water. Don't need excess. No. Tressa, oh my gosh, yeah. the tomato powder is ridiculous. And we use it a lot. A lot. It's actually got such a nice bold flavor mm -hmm. that you don't need to use much. You use like a tablespoon mm -hmm. and it goes a long way. Yeah. Mama oh, yeah. makes mama makes a killer pizza sauce with it. Yes, it makes a really, really yummy pizza sauce. And it's really versatile. You can make um, tomato juice, tomato paste, tomato mm -hmm. sauce. Um, you can add a couple of tablespoons to your beef stew. Um, tomato soup, you can make, yeah, you can make tomato soup with it. Shrimp Creole, but shrimp sandwich, shrimp salad. I shrimp. need a disclaimer <laughs> though. <laughs> when you wanna make tomato soup, you need to rehydrate the tomato um, powder with water. You cannot just go ahead and mix milk. it in with the milk. It does it not weird. work. It gets weird. I've tried it. <laughs> um, so, okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take our stick of butter and cut it up into some smaller pieces so it melts faster. Hello from California. Hey, Dolly. All right, let's get this show on the road. Let's see what happens. Uh-oh, I forgot to turn the camera on to um, airplane, airplane mode. mode. That doesn't mess up the stream. I don't yes. know. No, it's actually it is. <laughs> well, well, we'll stay on this camera for, for a little bit. Okay, <laughs> that's funny. All right, I'm going to turn this down just a tad. All right, Hopefully now that I've got this butter it. melting, I'm going to go ahead and, um, you might want to check that. I'm going to check that. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put the onions. Oh, we've gone crazy. Look at that. Oh, no. <laughs> I've got I've got a plan. I have a plan. And here we go. I'm going to try put and do this. Put it on the other camera first. And then... I'm going to do this. Reconnect to the device. Refresh the devices. That would be refreshing. Oh, no. Let's it's okay. Do not fret, baby. We got this. <laughs> Hang with me. Oh no, we're sideways. You're gonna have to go in. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Fix how do you it. do this? I don't know. I don't know. We're sideways. I can move this around. No, don't, don't do that. I don't know what is okay, going wrong. I'm gonna go on. I'm gonna unplug my. And I'm gonna go look no. at. No. No. Yeah, Hold on. Okay. What has gone wrong? Oh, I bet you this. Yeah. Hold on. We're having a technical difficulty. I've got the. Go ahead and put it in uh, airplane mode, first of all. Just take take the camera out, go ahead. We're gonna look at um, the butter. We've got butter mode right now. And um, so I guess turn that piece of software off and then turn it back on. Can you go upside down while you're on it? We are having technical difficulties. We're, we should go ahead and saute, we're sauteing. <laughs> Is it working? Let's try this again. Let's go ahead and do this, 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 none. And now, hold on, see if it goes for it. One last try, and? Connected. Okay, that's, it's, that's great, it's just not working here. Let's stay on this camera for a while, for a oh, second. <laughs> oh no. Reconnect to device. Let's try that again. All right, let's stir these onions here as you as they're getting oh just my gracious, nice and, guys. and sauteed here. And when you rehydrate them, they are almost identical to fresh. They are just minced up really, really nicely. <laughs> this is too funny. Yeah, this camera works. <laughs> That's funny. I'm gonna I'm gonna try one more thing before I go. We've got gremlins. Yeah. I'm gonna delete that all together. Get rid of it. That'll work. Get rid of it. All and right. Now I'm gonna start 
Keep chatting, Mama. I uh, would... Is there a way that you can't show the other camera while... I can't while I'm doing this. Okay, that's fine. Well, I'm going to just continue to stir these onions. Here we are. Until we... <laughs> Victory! So, it seems like we can't go a week without some technical Something messing up. Okay. Well, now, for those of you who hung with us, thank you. Thank you. Um, okay, so if you don't mind going back to this camera, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and put in one third cup of flour and whisk that. Okay, now we're on the close cam. <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to whisk this around so that this flour will absorb any excess um, butter. Don't touch the <laughs> and I'm going to cook this for just a minute, uh, just to get rid of that flour taste. Yeah. Because you don't want a flowery tasting broccoli Nobody wants cheese flour soup. soup. That's yucky. Yeah, flour soup? No. Gross, no. But you turned your thing down so much now, it's going to take forever. Oh my gracious, it baby. It was too hot. Always something going on, isn't we, there? You know, I guess gotta Always let you know we cannot on. cook in the kitchen together ever. It is really funny, actually, because it's either her or me. Um, we cannot work together and because it's he does different. My way. He does things his way, and I do things my way, and they do not combine. The streams do not cross. No, we we, we are not a yin and yang. We don't work no, well in the kitchen there's together. No yin -yang there is here. not. No. No. <laughs> um. Yeah. I need so. a good idea for a recipe for chicken tonight. Anybody got any suggestions for Tressa? Chicken, chicken, chicken bruschetta. Oh, chicken bruschetta is nice. It's yeah. really, Describe. really, really easy, really yummy. Um, you um, take some cutlets and you pan fry them. Sear them good. Sear yeah. them good. Put them in an oven and then um, while they're in the oven, you're going to mix up some tomatoes, some basil, some balsamic vinegar, mm. and then last five minutes of cooking. Um, actually, they could be chicken breasts. They don't have to be cutlets. They can be thighs. Do it doesn't matter. Whatever you have. Um, last few minutes of cooking, you're going to take the chicken out. You're going to put that bruschetta on there. Uh, also with some Parmesan cheese in there. Um, and then put it back in the oven just to heat those tomatoes through. And it is Real nice. You could, and, and what's cool about that too is if you just want that to be your entire meal, put it over the top of some pasta. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And yep. that's kind of whatever you want. Yeah. It's really, really yummy. It was Jonathan that called. It was Jonathan. Because <laughs> he called my phone too. <laughs> he's a turkey. That kid. Yesterday was Jonathan's birthday mm -hmm. and we, we missed him. So he's coming over today. Yeah. And so hopefully that was not to say he can't come. I hope not. I would hope. I hope. Okay, so now that this is cooked for a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and put my um, milk in here. And How I much have milk, baby? six cups of milk. And, you know, what you guys don't know is I heated this milk up previously before we started so that it won't take so long to heat this milk up because it was cold before. Yeah. Oh, my shoulder. All righty. Okay. And so I'm just going to stir this up just to get those. I'm going to probably yeah, whisk it. That's kind of chunky, baby. Yeah, I'm going to whisk it just to get the flour and the onions broken up a bit. Dubois Home said, broccoli and cheese, where's the bacon? You know, we, we put... This is, this is a meatless meal. It actually is, mm -hmm. and that's surprising. Yep. And, you know, I don't know why I've never even considered it. We love bacon. We, we raise our own piggies. What is wrong with you? I've never even you considered it. You don't put it. bacon in broccoli cheese soup? Tell them. No. Why are you yelling at me? No. <laughs> Jeez, oh, Pete's. <laughs> I am. I am teasing. You. You could probably put bacon in here. I never have. Um, you know, once or twice a week, we will have a meal that is completely meatless. Um, makes yeah. it, it. Makes it. You know, try and not eat healthier. as much meat. Even though we grow our own meat here, um, we just try to do. Um, Meatless meals once in a while. We'll do Salad and salads bread. and that, bread. That's about and at least every other week. Uh -huh. has, to, has to be on Tortilla the, soup. With, tortilla soup. Oh. That's one of our favorites. Easy, um, easy. Broccoli tea soup and some bread bowls. And so. Well, and when you're using the Thrive Life stuff, tortilla soup literally takes less than 10 minutes. Yeah. You just go scoop, 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 right. scoop, scoop, done. Exactly. 
All right. You could add chicken That's chunks warm. to it too, says North Star Prep Center, and you, you absolutely could. You totally could. You can you can make it however you like. We just occasionally try to do a meatless you know meal here and there. And look at me. I need a meatless meal once in a while, right? <laughs> I mean, be honest. Don't we all? Yes. Okay. Chicken and baked potatoes. There's another meal suggestion for mm -hmm. you. Sprinkle bacon on top of it as a garnish, says Renee. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so now I heated this. This milk was heated up before. I'm going to go ahead and take my pinch of nutmeg. And believe it or not, this little pinch of nutmeg adds a humongous flavor yep. difference. Yeah. He scowled at me one day when he saw me put nutmeg in the soup. He said, no. what? Yeah, you did. Negative. He said, what are you Couldn't doing? Be. You did. <laughs> Mama stole the cookies from the cookie jar. <laughs> who, me? Yes, you. Not me. <laughs> no, it couldn't be. Couldn't be, yeah. Then who? I don't know. Ruthie did it. <laughs> no. It was Butterfly stole the cookies from the cookie jar. Okay. Who, me? Can we get out of preschool now? Sorry. <laughs> One thing you guys didn't know is that we, when we were shortly out of high school, mm -hmm. we both worked at a preschool daycare. Yes. And I loved it. He was Mr. Brad. Mr. Mr. Brad, Brad, Mr. Brad. Mr. Brad. Sorry. And they would climb on me and we would have fun. And, and uh, it was really great. It was bittersweet kind of thing, though, because um, the place that we worked at, I'd say a over, income. well, it was very low income. Mm -hmm. A lot of the kids had moms and dads who were drug problems. And mm -hmm. a, lot of the, a lot of the parents, there was only mom at home. So I was their guy. I was the guy, the only guy. And, and it, was, it was really sad because some days the kids didn't want to leave. No, they didn't. Yeah. But I'd probably still be doing it if it could pay a right. living wage. Right. Okay. Now we're ready. Now that our milk is heated up, I'm going to go ahead and put our broccoli in here. If you are using broccoli that you've grown or um, you got from the store, um, you would want to cook this for a little bit longer, um, 15 to 20 minutes so, so that, cook, that broccoli cooks through. But I am not going to do that. I am going to um, put this broccoli in here, and I need four cups, and that's about the size of my hand so I'm just gonna put four handfuls of broccoli in here <laughs> talk about the people that have to have measurements are freaking out right now I know sorry <laughs> four cups but Ish. my my hands are about the cup size of a cup so eh, you think so yes there you go because I did that I measured it and then I put it into the cup okay and then I'm just gonna stir this in and it's gonna rehydrate in this milk Brad, throw me a cinnamon bun. Actually, she made some really delicious um, cherry bread the other night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's Oop, gone. I've got it on the wrong camera. <laughs> she made it some cherry bread, and it's almost gone. But here, yeah. you can have it. <laughs> we'll share. Don't throw that. Absolutely. All, All right. right. So this is just going to take a few minutes to rehydrate. I will probably let this cook for, I don't know, 10 minutes. Um, just so that those pieces are fully rehydrated. And if I were using um, uh, store-bought broccoli, then I would probably use my immersion blender to Chop break up, up those pieces a bit, but I don't need to do that no, here. No, these are perfect. Mm -hmm. And one thing that, that you got to understand when you're using the Thrive ingredients, you don't really have to cook it per se. It's already cooked. Mm -hmm. uh, well, it's actually not cooked at all. It's just no, freeze-dried. It's freeze-dried. And you just heat it through. Right. You just so it's not like you got to sit and cook it until it gets soft. Once it rehydrates, it will be soft. Right. Right. You guys should mm. make a video on cherry bread. Oh yeah. We can do that. That, but you know what? That other bread you made was so much better. The lemon blueberry bread. Lemon blueberry. Yeah, that bread. one was good. I just had had for cherry icing from a cherry chocolate cake I made. Yeah. And I still had that icing, so I decided to make cherry cake to go along with it. Oops. I went. See, that I went to the wrong camera. What you need? Need salt. Need salt. Yep. Oh, and yeah. it's Did salt you put to the taste. Salt in anyway? No, I didn't yet. Not yet. I'm oh, and gonna... you need pepper too. Jeez. So I'm just gonna put like a ah, probably half a teaspoon of salt. And it's to taste. If you don't want the salt, don't add the salt. I am gonna be adding cheese in a little bit, so um, that will add some saltiness to it. Um, no star prep stutter. I missed the beginning of the show. What do you use for liquid other than milk? Nothing. 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 It's, this is one of those soups that is just so easy. Yeah. I mean, we've seen recipes that have cream in them, and I just don't think you need it. It no. makes it too rich. Well, our, yeah, I've seen them where... Sorry, the pepper. Oh, you're going to sneeze. Um, She's going to blow. 
The, they, I've seen recipes where you use half and half and milk or heavy cream. That and just makes it too rich. Um, so I just use regular milk. Uh, well, Oh, a note on our milk, though. Our milk doesn't have the cream taken off of it. Yeah, like when um. you go to a store and you got like skim milk and then you got, what, 2% and then you got the vitamin D kind. This has a lot more cream in it than that. Yeah. Because the, the dairies will scrape that most of it off. There's mm -hmm. a little bit that'll stay, but very, right. very little of it will get to you if you're buying it from the store. So ours has the cream already right. in it. I got flour sticking to the bottom. I got to scrape it. Okay. Lemon poppy seed pound cake. Yum. That sounds good. Okay. Let's see. Let's close cam on the soup, mama. Oh, you got it stuck in your thing. Yeah, I know. I was scraping the, the flour that's, you know, sometimes when you make a, a cream of soup like this, um, or a cream soup, um, the flour will uh, stick to the bottom. So you just kind of scrape it off a little bit so that it mixes in with the milk. Hmm. <laughs> Don't talk to us about snow, guys. I'm reading the comments in the... Uh, no. And there's somebody's getting two inches of snow, and we're supposed to get six to eight. Oh my gosh! Well, and the thing is, is that I keep scraping the roof. Yeah. We've got we finally got our own roof rake. I was borrowing Prepstetter Bob's, mm -hmm. and um, when we finally got our own today, it was really funny because we went we drove an hour to go to to uh, Menards and Home Depot and Walmart mm -hmm. and Sam's, and none of them had a roof rake. Nope. Not one roof rake. Nope. Then we come back to our tiny little town and they had one in the hardware store that's they two had, minutes from our house. They had two. <laughs> <laughs> so this is getting a little bit thicker. I don't know if you can... Well, I'll do, oh, yep. Okay. We'll scooch on over there. See, Tell Krista to get her idea for your devotional today was great. It really got <laughs> me thinking. That's oh, cool, well, Alicia. What the heck is a fairy farm? I think that was probably a, a typo. Oh, <laughs> you make fairies. No, she's talking to Bridget. North Star Preps are Moroccan chicken. What would that be? Oh, I don't we've know. Had, we've had um, uh, Portuguese chicken. That was really Moroccan good. Moroccan chicken would have like cinnamon and, you know, I those kind of spices different. in there. I, I bet that would be different. A Moroccan chicken. Oh, I see. Bridget's asking, can you buy that milk from a dairy farm? And it was oh. a typo of fairy farm. Okay. Well, yeah. depending on your state. Right. Milk is a controversial thing, believe it or not. Yes. Milk, you need to check your local, uh, your state regulations because some states you can buy herd share. Some states you're not allowed to do a herd share. Um, and some states you can do farm sales. Here you can't do farm sales. Um, and then there's other states you can buy it in the store, in like the natural yeah. food stores. When we were in Ohio to get raw milk, we had to get what's called, like she said, a, a herd, herd share. share. Mm -hmm. And what that is, is you're literally getting a contract with a farmer that says, I own a tiny little percentage mm -hmm. of your cow. Right. And then that entitles me to X amount of gallons of milk per month. Yeah. And then you still got to pay for the milk, but it's just a funny legal workaround so that mm -hmm. you can get the raw milk. Yep. Let's see. So you're, you're doggone near there. Yeah. This, I'm just going to check the broccoli, see if it is, is it rehydrated. It feels not yet. like it. It feels like it. Ow. It takes about 10 it's minutes. Hot. I don't know how long we've been chatting it up. Not either. Not sure. Not yet. Okay. No, not quite. It's a little crunchy. A little crunchy. Mm -hmm. Got to let her go. Well, yeah. why don't you tell them, tell them about Thrive Life then? This stuff. Okay. The, and, and we're consultants. Right. And so we got a deal going. Right. Thrive Life is an amazing product. Um, it is freeze-dried natural ingredients. So in this broccoli, you look on the ingredients, it is just broccoli. The onions is just onions. There is no um, MSG. There's no um, GMO. It's all GMO-free. A lot of it is gluten-free because it is just broccoli. There's no gluten in broccoli. There doesn't need to be gluten in broccoli. Sorry, I got an onion <laughs> stuck in my throat. <laughs> So, you know, when we were on the path to finding a product that we could stock our shelves with because it wasn't going to go bad. It wasn't going to go bad because up here in Wisconsin, we can't we can't grow everything. Yeah, right, pineapple's not happening. Never. Mm. It's not going to happen. No. And so, when we kind of realized the need for having some food on the shelves 
at all times. That was that's what started us. But right. then we we started using it. Mm -hmm. We're like, wait a minute, this is so convenient, and we don't waste food anymore. No. It used to be that you know you would only need X amount for a recipe, and then you'd forget about it or whatever and a lot of it would get wasted and you'd have to throw it away right and another thing that happened when we started using the thrive life food is our palate went way bigger yeah because now we can experiment with stuff without having to worry about oh geez that's like five bucks at the store i don't really want to buy that just to try it out and test it right well and so we can just go scoop and with the way Brad cooks, he's like an evil scientist nah. in the kitchen. I'm and like, he's got all of these ingredients and he can make whatever he would like. And it, it's actually, it's quite comical. But anyway, um, <laughs> Thrive Life freeze-dried foods are phenomenal. Um, they make cooking and uh, dinner prep uh, so easy. Our kids are, they eat they so it. much more fruit now. Uh, than they did before. They I'll, they'll I'll, snack on the broccoli. They will. Sn I love broccoli straight out of the can. It's it, so it's, good. It's, it's a definitely a different thing when you bite it and it's crunchy. Yes. I mean, you can rehydrate it, and then it's mm -hmm. exactly like it right. was when it was fresh. Right. But it's a very odd thing to be eating crunchy broccoli. But as soon right. as the as soon as the the saliva in your mouth touches it and then mm -hmm. gets wet in your mouth, it goes bam. There's like a pop of right. flavor. Right. So. Um, Totally lost Bridget, where I was going. Uh, what's the website? In our in our links down below in the video comment, mm -hmm. there's a link down in there. Right. Um, and Susie Bosch. Uh, so are all of their products non-GMO? Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 Yeah. Um, a lot are organic. Uh, some are not, and and the reason why is because they source them from all over the world, and some countries do not have the same uh, USDA requirements of organic as our country right so even though they may be raising that food exactly the same way that an organic company here would be they don't have that designation right so they can't they legally don't have the put same regulations there. right but like i mean but they're not using pesticides yeah. like no, they would no, normally no, no no i mean i'm going to try and hold this up here to show you where is the the ingredients where is it's it hard to find because there's only one yeah hold on Right there. Right there. Ingredients, non-GMO, no bioengineering un, uh, ingredients. Ingredients, white onions. <laughs> right. It is just that. It is simple, simple ingredient. Um, it's just broccoli. It's just onions. It's just corn. Like there's a, a bucket of corn over here. Yeah. And that corn is, you know, when you have dehydrated corn, it's hard and it's, it, you know, it's, you can't eat it. This is Breaks soft and chewy, and soft and crispy. Yeah, it's it's got a light crunch right. to it, and then it's just loads of flavor. Right, and it's super super sweet. Yeah, um, our kids love the cherries and the bananas and the grapes, and they go in and they just take a little bit of each of them. Yep. And that's part of their breakfast. They'll have yogurt yep. or a bowl of cereal. And they, Brad loves putting the bananas and strawberries in his cereal. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, and, and if you guys know our channel, you know I have a sweet tooth. Yes, And uh, I've I, I used to get sugar cereal. And the big thing was is that I would get to have a bowl of sugar cereal on, on Saturday. Yes, that's and the on rule. On Saturday. And I would get right. that that cereal that had the little marshmallows in it. And, oh, I love those marshmallows. <laughs> I love them. Yeah. But um, now I can get the same thing from, uh, they make yogurt bites. Yes. The Thrive Life makes freeze-dried yogurt bites. And so while there's still sugar in them, it's not nearly what I was eating. And I put that directly into the cereal right. along with fruit. And it's delicious. Right. Hey, Steve. How you doing? All right. All right. This is just about done. I'm okay. going to go ahead and put the, the cheese in. And I know the recipe calls for four cups, but this is pretty thick. So I'm not going to put that much in to start. Or I'll you put can add two. Some, uh, you want to add some chicken broth? Not right now. Not right now. Not right now. I'm going to go ahead and put two cups in and see where it's see where at, you're at and see if it's the right amount of cheesiness. And okay. then we'll be Susie, done. It'll be ready I to I dehydrate eat. lots of fruits and veggies, but I'm going to order some freeze-dried. Oh, cool. Thank you. The, yeah. the freeze-dried products are... It's vastly different. Vastly dis different because of the way it is um, processed, okay? When you dehydrate, you're using heat to dehydrate that 
that pro that item or you know if you're dehydrating mm -hmm. corn or onions or whatever you're heating it so which means you're killing a lot of those nutrients it's degrading the, the quality right. of the nutrients when in the you food. freeze dry fresh broccoli it freezes it flash freezes all of those nutrients into yep. that food and so our the nutritional value is the same as when it was picked right off the branch. Right, and and what's yeah, crazy weird. about this, people people don't believe me until I explain the whole thing, but the Thrive Life freeze-dried food is in general more healthy, more nutrition-packed mm -hmm. than the fresh stuff you get at your grocery store. Yeah. And the reason why is because of how the supply chain works. Mm -hmm. um, with, let's say, Thrive, Thrive Life freeze-dried onions. Okay, the onions are picked, and then within one day to two days max, they are freeze dried. That locks in all of the nutrients. Yeah. Now, with a what we consider fresh at the grocery store, let's take a tomato. Okay, first of all, tomatoes are one of the worst. Mm -hmm. What they do is they'll pick them while they're still green, and then they'll ship them to a, a, a facility, a warehouse, that they'll keep them in cold storage, okay? Mm -hmm. That could be a year, it could be two years. How is that possible? <laughs> because they, they know how to do this stuff. But um, it's, ma it's magic. No, I don't know. They just do it. I know they but, can do that. I knew they do that with bananas. I had not heard do. that with tomatoes. Absolutely. Wow. And then and then when an order comes in, like let's say your store's Publix or Kroger or whatever, and they say, well, we need X amount of tons of tomatoes. Well, then they gas them. There's a special gas that will ripen them super quick. Then they're shipped by truck to all over there, and then they could be there sitting there for weeks or whatever. Until you actually buy it as fresh, mm -hmm. when it's when it's already all, so much of the nutritional value is already gone. That's crazy. Mainly because it was never allowed to get all the nutrition into the tomato because it was picked before it was ripe. Yeah. So. Anyway. Anyway, geez, I could talk about this all day. I, know, I love that. I know. You're right. Butterfly Enterprises. There is no waste. Yep. Um. And and you see how long it took. We started at two o'clock. This is ready to eat. Well, and we're talking. We it are really talking. Could have taken 10 I, it, it could have taken. It took probably fifteen mm. minutes. I didn't have to chop the broccoli or wash the broccoli. I didn't have to chop the onion. It was all done. Yeah. Yeah. You know, this is a great fresh, or fast, um, healthy meal. Well, well, there's a lot of milk in there. Healthy. <laughs> Air quotes. Healthy. Okay, it's not from a can. Yes. Let's just say that. There is not, there's no MSG, there's no preservatives, there's none of that. It's a fresh soup that you can comfortably, uh, not comfortably, you can feed your family Quickly. knowing yeah. knowing that you're not feeding them a bunch of chemicals. Hey, Broussard is giving us the answer to the gas. It's ethylene gas. Ah, there yes. you go. I knew there was a gas involved. Yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, here's the thing. Thrive Life is available in Canada, mm -hmm. yes. Yes. And uh, Hawaii. Hawaii. Japan. Japan. Um, and I think that's it right now. The United States, Hawaii, I Japan. I don't remember. I thought there was more than that. There might be. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Yeah. Now, here's, here's the thing. We are consultants, mm -hmm. and Thrive Life has absolutely changed our lives when yeah. it comes to our financial situation. Yeah. Um, and what's cool about it is it's not like you're trying to schlep something to somebody. This is just food. Right. Everybody needs it, and right. it's really, really good. It's delicious, yeah. But why don't you tell them about, because we, we, from time to time we make mm -hmm. a deal. Like if you guys want to get involved and you say, you know what, I'd like to make some money on the side or whatever, um, we offer a deal for you to jump in that actually saves you a ton of money. It's almost right. like 35% yeah. if you look at the whole thing. But right. So the deal that we are offering is if you sign up to be a consultant in the month of March 2019, um, we will go ahead and send you sign up with the $265 months, yeah. um, business, business builder kit. Sorry, I'm tripping over my words. <laughs> um, and then sign up for three months of deliveries. We will send you uh, the two. The chef pack. Yes. The ground beef chef pack. <laughs> it's worth 120 bucks. Yes. So basically, if you sign up and you get your deliveries set up mm -hmm. for three months, then we're going to send you 120 bucks worth right. of food. Right. You know, um, there's a question. How yes. long does it stay good after you open them? Most of them, there are only a very few amount of the ingredients. I think it's less than three or four. Yeah, there's three but, or four that only last a few weeks. But when you open it up, mm -hmm. it's good for a year. Nine, nine, yeah, nine, tw nine months to twelve. Yeah, nine to twelve yeah. months. 
Yep. Sorry. And that's, I mean, and what's cool about it is you just scoop out what you want. Mm -hmm. Right. And the pantry can sizes, mm -hmm. this is the pantry can size. So you can see the difference in size. This is a number 10 can. This is called a family can. Yep. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Um, and this has obviously a lot more servings. Um, if it's just a couple of you at home, I would definitely recommend getting these. It goes um, a long way. It too. goes a really long way. Yeah. Um, the powders, I, I think. I think this is the second one that we've opened of the chicken broth. We use it all the time. The bo too. chicken bouillon. Sorry, we use this all the time. This is the second one that we've opened, and we've been consultants for two years. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. So. And you know what's funny is that. We usually can, like pressure can our uh -huh. chicken broth. Yeah. And I've been itching to do it again. But in, in truth be told, we use that so much that it's it's just easy. Right. It is very easy to it this is this is this is very good. I really like this one. I love the beef one, the beef bouillon. Um but I the, all of the products that they have, aside from maybe a couple. You know, and that's just personal preference. Right. Everything that we have opened we and tried, it. we love it. I mean, everything you can think of, from cherries to pineapple, there's beef. Grapes. Like, uh, they, have, they have, you know, chunks of beef, like big, mm -hmm. nice chunks of beef right. where it's like, oh, yeah, and I was, I was going to tell you about this. Because um, we tried all the different freeze-dried companies and all the dehydrated stuff, and none of it was pretty much any good. I mean, it was like, okay, I'll eat this if I'm hungry, you know, but I'm not going to choose to eat it. Uh, and one of the things that, that sold me on Thrive is when you bite into a piece of the meat, okay, it feels right. That sounds weird, but you After can... After it's it rehydrated. Feels, it feels <laughs> properly. It's like, um, you, you can, it, it feels like meat. It's it, not like some kind of sponge. It, that's, it's right. weird. You know how some dehydrated meat can just not be right? Well, when you rehydrate a piece of freeze-dried chicken or freeze-dried beef, it has the correct texture. That, the texture is um, important. It, and, and that's a huge thing, you know, and the, the taste. Oh, my goodness. And yeah. all it is is chicken and salt or, or you can beef just plain, and salt. You can just get it plain, too. They have chopped chicken, which is just chicken. There's no added seasoning. Um, I like the, the chicken slices, though, um, because it's, the, it's bigger pieces. But... Phoebe, um, she's asking how much would it be to restart her Thrive business. I can go in and look and see. I don't know how long ago you uh, stopped being a consultant, but if you have, if it's like past six months, the most affordable way to do it would be the smallest business builder kit. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I thought think. they just had to start ordering their deliveries again. I'll get with you. Yeah, we'll I'll get with. We'll you. find out and let you know. Yeah, because it but. may very well be you just fire it back up. Yeah, but you know. So, do you have any idea when Thrive is going to start in the UK, mm. Carol says. I know, little birdie told me, because I was actually talking with the president of the company yesterday. Mm. And they are actively planning a facility. So, I don't know what that means in terms awesome. of how fast, but it means it will happen. Awesome. And so, That's there you have wonderful. it. That's wonderful. Oh, and here, um, North Star Prep Stetter yes. has shared that Moroccan chicken... This is great. Chicken thighs covered with sauce, chicken broth, almond butter, onion, garlic, cinnamon, cayenne pepper, salt, pepper, cumin, coriander, carrots, and apricots. Loads of stuff. Wow. All right. That's got to be all kind of crazy awesome flavors. I'm not sure who was asking. I think it's Alicia that was asking what seasonings. What do we use all the time? Oh, my gosh. Chef Okay. Uh, Alicia, they have nine different seasonings and herbs, Okay. Uh, actually, there's three season blends and then six herbs. They have chives, um, cilantro, parsley, basil, well, you're oregano. Hold them up to the close cam, I will. Mama. Hold on. And okay. then, okay, these, I don't have the salad blend up here, but this is one of my favorites the Italian freeze dried blend. And then this one here is the we family's use that all the favorite. Time. We put this on eggs and eggs. Pretty much everything. I, I put it on so many different things. Yeah. It's, it's just a blend, but right. it's like peppers and there's... Right. And what else is in there? Uh, let's see. If I can find the ingredient list. Oh, there's salt, spices, which that's just a, a proprietary blend. Uh, onion, garlic, chili powder, citric acid, sugar, and dextrose and natural flavor. 
There's also another one called a salad blend. Oh, that's that great. is delicious. It's, I, great. it's funny, I don't even put it on salad. I do. I, well, I know I you do. It. I don't. I, when I make our spaghetti sauce, I use the Italian, I use the salad blend, and I use the chef's choice as seasonings, plus the oregano and basil. But why don't you bowl up some of that delightful soup so we can show? Show okay. and tell. All right. Okay. Let's see. I've been tasting it the whole time. Is it good? Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I didn't. We didn't need the four cups of cheese. Oh, the that two looks cups just with right. cheese uh, was just plenty. That looks just right. Nice big chunks of broccoli, and that's that's Brad's favorite as I well as it. mine. Here, yeah, we'll hold ahead. it up to the close cam there, baby. Yep, and that. I mean, if we weren't talking, that would take 15 ten minutes. Fifteen minutes, 10, 15. 10, 12 maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Let me get a bite of this here. But um, the seasonings are really, really delightful. Um, she was also asking about orange powder. Um, they do have an orange, mm. is it called orange bliss? Yes. <laughs> I think so. It's a drink. I, it's a drink mix and it's really, really good. Um, mm. they, the, the serving recommendations mm. is one tablespoon per cup, or no, two tablespoons per That's cup of nice. liquid. In my opinion, it's way too sweet. Yeah. It's all in perf personal preference. I will take two tablespoons to a whole quart, and it just flavors it really nicely. Yeah. My favorite one is the peach. Oh, drink. yeah, they call it Simply Peach. Simply Peach. It's great. Uh, you know, maybe the other one's Simply Orange. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Mm. They do not have tea, though. But you can make a peach tea with that peach drink, and or that just, would be delightful. Yeah, give it a little delightful. Zip. Yeah. Delightful. Yeah. So, um, yeah. That looks creamy. That looks delish. It is. Brought it's not too can. thick. Mm. Ooh, look at that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not too thick. I did add a little bit more salt. It needed a touch more. But it is really, really good and really easy. Yeah. So, yeah. And fast. And, mm -hmm. um, you know. Yep. Put it, you know, you guys you guys were saying bacon has to be added in. Well, you could just you throw could. that on the top. Why not? You could you go can, crazy. Yeah, you go nuts. Go nuts. <laughs> Or I could just go into my pantry with, where I've got my mad scientist wall of Thrive Life stuff and go, I want some of this. I want some of that. And he does that a Let's lot. Let's try pineapple. Yeah. <laughs> if I'm not making dinner, he's he's in here doing it. And... Yeah. So <laughs> just let him know about the deal one more time and then we will say goodbye because I know there's a lot of people that we get emails a lot Yeah. that say, hey, can you really make money on this? And mm -hmm. it really depends on you. Yes. It honestly depends on you because everybody has to eat. Mm -hmm. And you know, and and the way the business works is you don't make the product, no. you don't buy it and store it in your house. You don't ship it. You don't ship it. Everything's mm -hmm. drop shipped from Thrive. Yep. And every person you meet is a potential customer. Exactly. So it really depends on whether you want to share it, and and then because just about everybody we know, I mean there are exceptions, but mm -hmm. most people that we're like taste this, just try it. Just try it. Yeah. They're like, oh, that's good. Yeah. I uh, yeah. Yeah. When I made in the there's a uh, a recipe book that comes with the the kit. Yeah. Um, when I try when I made the black bean salsa, oh, that was delightful. That was I was hooked. I was hooked at the blueberries. Yeah, the blueberries were really good. The kids went nuts over the blueberries. Yeah. They're like, this is a blueberry. It's just it's just a blueberry. There's nothing added. There's no citric acid. There's which blueberry. is just a preservative, but. There's nothing else. It's just a blueberry that's been freeze dried. It's great for kids. Oh, and I was gonna tell you, if you become consultants too, whenever you sell something, you get a percentage. You get you get a percentage, and then it goes up as the more you sell. Mm -hmm. But one of the cool things is every time you sell something, you also get an equal percentage of free food. Yes. So you can stock your pantry like crazy by just doing what you're normally doing anyway. Right. Right. Yeah, that's how we've done it. That's how we do it. Yep. So, yep. Anyway, if you're interested, email me at info.bigfamilyhomestead at gmail.com. That's down there, or our Thrive Life link is down there as well. Yep. And so, just go and check it out. You know, just look at the different things and, you know, see what floats your boat, baby. Yeah, see if there's anything that interests you. I love it. I absolutely love it. It makes, it makes, Dinner prep, so easy. And you know what? Mm -hmm. They have instant milk. And I've actually made this broccoli cheese soup, and I've put it in a mason jar, mm -hmm. vacuum sealed it, stuck it on the shelf for that, oh, I've got to go faster. Dump it. Dump it, mix it with water, and yep. I'm done. You yep. know, and it's it's delicious. So. Oh, 
Alicia. Alicia, um, mm -hmm. I don't like blueberries from the store. Let me tell you something about these Thrive Life blueberries. They're so good. When you make blueberry muffins or blueberry bread or whatever, mm -hmm. you know how when you get that stuff from the store and it kind of just disintegrates into like a blue goo? This doesn't. This doesn't. Mm -mm. You just put them in there completely freeze-dried and yeah. they, they, they make these big, nice, humongous, perfectly hydrated not goo mass, right. but blueberries in, yeah. your, in your breads and stuff. Right. I don't rehydrate the fruit when I go and put it into a quick bread or something like yeah. that. I put it in dry because the batter in the, the steam is going to rehydrate it. And then you don't have this blue slurry of yeah. blueberry muffins. It's You've got this beautiful white crumb and then you've got these big humongous chunks, chunks. of blueberries. A lot of flavor. And every single blueberry I have eaten from that can has been super sweet. Yep. There have never been any tart ones. No weird no ones. Delish, no disgusting rotten ones. They're all perfectly um, sweet and delicious. Fab Four Gal. What are we cooking next week? I don't know. I don't know. I usually figure that out on Sundays. <laughs> we really do, because we're like, well, what do you want to cook? And then, but since it's been cold, it's been a lot of soup. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. What do you guys want to see? Yeah, I know put you guys. In the, put something we, in the comment we, section. I know a lot of you have asked for some Thrive um, recipes. Well, this is an uh, mm -hmm. you know introduction of some Thrive mm. into a regular uh, recipe. You can substitute any Thrive product for any one ingredient on. on your recipe. Mm -hmm. um, you know, sometimes if you're going to be using all Thrive, you got to kind of calculate your your rehydrate your water rehydration mm -hmm. kind of thing so yep well i guess that's it we can we can yeah. just say goodbye for the day yeah and um tomorrow is tomorrow's friday tomorrow's friday this Holy week smokes. has flown yeah tomorrow's friday mm -hmm. so that means we got to put out a vlog and he says fun. cherry bread oh the cherry bread we can do that well no the other bread was so better the cherry bread was good okay you know what maybe we should do pineapple upside down cake yuck Oh, I love those. Okay, that's the only thing I, I don't. Those. I don't like pine. I don't like hot pineapple. You don't like wet bread. That's what it is. But pineapple upside down cake is not wet. Where you not flip it on over the inside? Is. No, no, it's just a, that's a sauce. Duh. No, that's like that's Duh. a sauce. No, Glad. no, and I don't like bread pudding. I'm kind of picky, but and so. With that said, I am kind of picky, so I like this stuff. It works awesome. Well, Amy's asking, does Thrive Life have any seafood or vegan stuff? All this stuff is pretty much vegan, yes. except the meats. You right. know, it's it's broccoli. There's, there's nothing no, to it. There's there's onions. Yeah. There's nothing to it. It's cherries. Right. It's not. Uh, yeah. It's. You know, there. I want to see how you use the tomato powder. Now we're talking. Phoebe. Okay. We can do that. Mm. We can do that. Maybe beef stew. I don't know. Yeah, we could do beef stew. We'll think of something. Or rice and beans. Well. Rice and beans. No. I found a bunch of I found a bunch of the green stuff. No, I know. I know there was a bunch of them. It was hiding in the bottom of the chest freezer. Yep. Um, we'll figure it out. We have a yeah. live show on Sunday nights at 7 o'clock Central Time, mm -hmm. and that's when we tell you what we're doing. Right. And that that's... way you've got time to grab the ingredients if you want to cook along. Yep. So there you go. Yep. I'm Brad. I'm Krista. You guys have an amazing day. Bye. Bye. See you.